In this video, we go over the library section in Tractor Pro 2. Coming up. Thanks for watching P.TV where you find tips, tricks, and tutorials for DJs and music performers. Now let's get into the video. Compared to many other DJ softwares, the library section in Tractor Scratch Pro 2 is actually pretty simplistic. So you get your normal uh, window with all your music and then your playlist on the left hand side. But if you dive into the preferences and go to browser details, you can enable these extra functions right here. So we can have a preview player. Let me go ahead and move this. You can have the preview player, show cover art here so you don't actually have to use one of these columns. Favorite playlists, uh, show track info and show status bar and error messages. Usually I kind of just stick uh, without having the cover art on just because it takes extra space in this window. And I also uh, don't really use the track info but uh, let's go ahead and load a track real quick and then show you exactly what that looks like. So if we just load a track, I guess it doesn't really matter. You'll see it has a, a track info right here and then this status is that uh, the other one down here that show, shows you like if it's loaded or if there's any errors. So I don't really use a track info because it's not doesn't really give that much um, information. <clears throat> and right here is your favorite playlists. So instead of having something like the preparation window and Serato, you get these uh, favorite playlist right here so you can make one actually one comes default as your preparation list so you can just throw tracks like have a playlist open and click and drag tracks onto any of these playlists uh, unfortunately unlike the preparation window in Serato uh, the preparation window in Tractor does not actually um, remove the tracks after you play them so you just have to keep that in mind they do show it as played um, right here on this side but they do not disappear on the list which is some a feature I wish Tractor would add in the future so it's pretty basic if you press spacebar you get the full uh, library view um, which can be helpful <clears throat> especially if you're like on a controller or something then you don't really need to look at the software as much um, library view is pretty cool um, under track collection something that uh, Tractor does that a software like Serato does not do is it'll automatically sort uh, your music that you have in your collection or library into different um, folders and playlists right away. So like every artist will be here, your releases, which means albums will be here, genre, etc. Have stems for stem tracks, remix sets, all of it is saved right here in the track collection. Then any playlist you create be in this uh, this folder right here. Then you have your Explorer, which is here actually in the, the sidebar instead of in like the middle section in Serato. So your Explorer is right here. So you can search your computer all right here and all in this window, which is pretty nice. Audio recording. So if you're recording a set or you use a loop recorder to record something, end up in there. Your iTunes, which um, actually does not load with the software. You actually have to click on it. Um, if you want to activate it, so keep that in mind. You have to click on it for it to load, and then you'll get all your playlists and all your music from iTunes loaded. <clears throat> and then history, which shows uh, any songs that you play during the set. Very similar to history functions in other DJ software, but it's all on that sidebar instead of in their own sections with the explorer and uh, preparation, etc. So. Um, very, I mean, it's pretty minimal as far as uh, library sections goes for DJ softwares. Uh, Tractor does not have smart playlists. Tractor, um, like I said, does not have uh, a real like active preparation list uh, as far as library is concerned. Uh, what's cool is like the the preview player. You can um, actually route to another one of your outputs and preview it, and queue it up without having to load it to a deck, which is kind of nice. Um, something you don't see in the uh, other DJ software. And what's cool too is like you can hide the functions that you don't use and just keep them away. So if you don't really use the favorite playlist, you can just clear all of the stuff out and have more room for um, viewing your library and such. So if you have like a bunch of large playlists on this side, 
so it makes it easier to scroll through stuff because you have more room instead of having the uh, album art right here then instead of having the track info down here and the favorite playlist you actually get more room to look at the your library also um, the library section has all of these columns that you can uh, pick from all pretty much most of them are connected to your ID3 tags. One cool thing that um, Tractor Pro has that Straw does not have is an actual rating system. So you can actually rate songs right here, and then you can sort by uh, what, you're, what you've rated a song, anywhere from zero to five stars, which is cool. Something that I wish uh, Serato had. Um, so you can actually like sort playlists real easy. I mean, you can use a rating system from anything like how popular a song is to how much energy or how hype a song is. Uh, really up to you, can be really useful. I've integrated it into my Serato library uh, in a different ways, done videos on that as well. So that's cool that it's built into this software and not something you kind of have to like have a workaround for. And like I said, there's all these other uh, track, or I'm sorry, all these other um, tags you can use as columns, which is really nice. <clears throat> a lot of different things. Um, some of them, a lot of them you don't see in other DJ softwares as well. So it can get pretty, you know, pretty intense and uh, get a lot of information out and show a lot of it. Uh, me, myself, I like keeping it minimal, uh, just the things I need to make it easier on the eyes so I can just uh, breeze through and like browse through all this stuff really quick. Um, <clears throat> you'll see that on pretty much all the software I use. Uh, keep it really minimal, just a lot easier to handle as far as like finding things. Um, but yeah. That's the Tractor Pro library section. Pretty minimal, uh, but really to the point and has all the essentials you need pretty much to prepare your tracks, put them in playlists, and have them ready to go for when you have to DJ. So that's a walkthrough of the library section in Tractor Pro 2. So question of the day, which feature in the library section is gonna be most useful for you? Go and leave that down in the comments below. I'd love to hear what you guys have to say. And as always, if you found this video useful, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And thank you for watching P.TV, where you'll find tips, tricks, and tutorials for DJs and music performers. See you next time.